Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video we will see how we can use type guards. We will start with type of and instance of. Type guards allow you to narrow down the type of an object within a conditional block. So when we start with a function For example, log. And then we can have an input. It can be of type string or of type number. Now we can have the following line, the following type guard. So now we can just say x dot sub str, and that's the substring method of string, right? Because he now knows that x is type of of string. We do a console log of that, of course. And when we then do an else block, TypeScript knows that it is a number now. So now we can say that x dot to fixed. And then we can do a console log of that. Great. When we now do log hello, we do log two dot three four four five. Now, of course, we need to build this. And when we now do node dot, we get hello and we get two, right? You need to know that here it's really a number, so we cannot do substring because it doesn't exist on the number type, right? Great. So we can use the type of operator for primitive types. So now let me show you how to use it or use instance of for regular types so we have here sum and thing and then here x can be sum or thing and here we can say x instance of sum we do x dot sum and else we do x dot thing, right? Great. Now here we can say new sum and here we can say new thing now when we execute this you will get the following result something of course here we can 
print console dot log x dot common because this has been shared between some and thing right and it's great because our IDE knows that now when I build this and I do node dot get some one two three thing one two three in another thing that we can do is here you can say some in x then we have x dot sum and otherwise we have x dot thing right so we can check if a property in this case sum is in our variable x right when i build this and i do node dot i get the same result so that's great within we can check if a property is in a variable so to define our own type guard we can define a function it will do that for us so this is a function a function is sum that has an argument and that argument is sum right and then we can return arg.sum different from undefined and then of course here we can use that say is sum x and then again we have our own defined type guard that's great right so when we build this again and we do node dot we get the same result it's great right I hope you learned something more about TypeScript and TypeGuards and I hope to see you in my next videos. Thanks for watching.